symbolizes where people's hearts lie in keeping with the words of our Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, the seventh fold. The seventh fold pays tribute to the armed forces. After all, through our armed forces, the United States is protected against all of us. The ninth fold honors womanhood. The tenth fold is a tribute to fathers. Thirteenth fold and last fold reminds us that when the flag is completely folded, it's We're gonna win. Oh, like we're gonna <laughs> win. Yeah. Folks of honor, everybody having a good time. All right, that's great. Celebrating our military and first responders, present and past. I want you to try it. I brought an extra bottle. Good morning, guys. What are we? What are we doing here today? Oh, we're gonna win a golf tournament today. That's what we're gonna do. He thinks he's gonna win, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna win. <laughs> Folds of Honor Golf Tournament. That's right. 2024. <laughs> Well, we're playing in a golf tournament here at beautiful Lake Almanor. Yeah, and one of us is going to win. And that would probably be me. <laughs> What's the strategy to winning? Uh, cheating. Cheating. And I uh, <laughs> would like to thank uh, Bruce and uh, everybody for putting this tournament on for the Wounded Warriors. And we're happy to be here. Hey, have your attention. We're about ready to get started. We're going to take a group picture over here in a minute. But I want to explain we're playing a scramble today, four person scramble. You need to use two drives from each player. Um, I don't know if you all saw the scorecard, but there's a little piece of paper taped up here. If you're playing from red, yellow, it'll be highlighted. Yeah. Exciting. Does the team have a name? Just okay. Um, we'll next time you come around, we all have, <laughs> we'll have it. There <laughs> they go. See you, boys. All right. Okay. See you in the winter circle. <laughs> How are you? Feeling lucky today? Absolutely. Always. What's your strategy to win? Get it close. Knock it in. <laughs> not, not cheating? No, we don't cheat. We have no eraser. Oh, we do have an eraser. <laughs> I know I get you on that Four one. Four hot chicks. Okay, that works for me. <laughs> and what's your strategy to win this thing? Play great. Yeah. We're Everything, having a, everything's good but the golf. <laughs> We're having a great time. <laughs> You're having a car, Craig. Craig should make the decision. He's How did we not car. have a name for our team? I know, no, I just messing with you guys. Short knockers. I'm sure he's got a good idea. Oh, good idea. Okay. The, the Long Rangers. <laughs> oh!
good time. We really enjoyed the flyover we just had from the military and beautiful. Yeah, well, good to be supporting them out here. You guys too much too fun. Flyover. Yeah, you great time. The 30s flying over. That was beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. What's the name of this uh, decrepit team here? Uh, I think you called it. Hey, we're there. We're on. Scoring well? I think so. All right. Oh, no, this guy. <laughs> See ya. As long as you guys are cheating, it's okay. Yeah, you're not winning. You're not, you're not, that's fine if you're not cheating. <laughs> no, no. What, uh, what's the name of your team? Uh, Birdie. Birdie Potential. Birdie. Birdie, birdie. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Tom. Um, See ya. Yeah, show all the money, Marty. Oh, yeah. Not over $500. Oh. Really? Great. <laughs> the most accurate drive. Wow, well some of that's my money, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> good, yeah, how many under par are you guys? Uh, I don't know. 17? <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. 25 under? So <laughs> we're like Six four. feet under. We're like four. <laughs> four. Great. I hope you're uh, all clear to be on YouTube. Uh, oh yeah. Yes. I'm where I'm supposed to be. I, I need an <laughs> alibi for the police later, so it's uh, officially 12. Well, if we didn't have our magic putter here. Yeah, uh -huh. the magic putter. She's been doing it for you? Oh, yeah. Uh, if you guys had a team name, what would your team name be? Ramrod. Team Ramrod. Damn, that was pretty quick. <laughs> that was pretty quick. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yes. It comes through in the flight. Mike, shouldn't you be working? No. I'm oh. off today, so is Phil. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're off today. All right, good. Yeah. Well, well, let's and, just and I, I can't. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Make a putt or two. I'm, in, I'm here for entertainment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Having fun today? Oh yeah. 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 Having a ball. What's your score right now? How are you doing? Six oh, under. Six, six under. under. Okay. What's the, what's the name of your team? Uh, America's three, Finest. Three, 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 yeah, yeah. Three, three, three dinged up dudes and a hottie. You know? <laughs> <laughs> three cripples and a hottie. Yeah. All right. How are you guys doing today? Great. <laughs> if you had a name, what would the name of your team be? Come on, Mike. Come Duffers. On. Duffers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's Thanks. your score? What's your score right now? Five. Five? Okay. All right, all right. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Tommy. <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. Yeah, baby. Somebody knows how to putt around here. <laughs> Having a blast. Having a blast. Uh -huh. uh, what's your score right now? Six under. Oh no, seven, seven under. under. Boo! Seven, seven under. under. Seven under. All right, right. And, and what's your team name? Whoa. Team Il come up with it. Team Clifford or Team Il Lago? Uh, whatever you want. Team Il Lago, sure. <laughs> you know what we're doing right now, making <laughs> Uh, no, well, sort of, kind of. I can fake it for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, so how's this team doing? Yeah. Doing all right. Awesome. We're having fun. <laughs> or else. Or, or. We're sucky putters. We got sandwiches. 
There you go. And what's what's your team name? The Village Idiots. Yeah, there you go. Village Idiots. The Four Stooges. Perfect. Thank you. Don't go for the tree, Jim. Oh, you like that was just shot. Right in the middle of the tree. How are you doing today? Doing good, man. How are you? I'm doing great. Good. Oh, you, good. You happy out here today? Yo, oh, that God. was like the best place to be. Oh, good Look at what comes right around the tree. Oh, you. Hey, how are you guys shooting today? Uh, <laughs> we're shooting. We, got, we got a golf. We're shots. We're, yeah. you know, we're shots. shots. What about, what's your team name? Team. Team. The old uh, farts. We're not having a team name. <laughs> <laughs> the old farts. Okay. <laughs> Wow! Oh, in. Oh, wow. Here we are. We just, uh, we're out here at the Folds of Honor uh, Championship Golf Tournament. Uh, you're looking at the yes, winning no team word. right here. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Maybe. What's the name of our team? Team Misfits. We're played on the hall of the strong. Would you hear my voice? Come through the music. Would you hold it near as it were your own? It's the first five hole in ones. We'll win a beautiful Mustang. And good luck to everybody. Perhaps they're better. Whoa! Son, I don't know. Don't really care. Let there be songs to fill the air. The King of California, Pam LaRusso. There's no pebble toss. No wind to blow, reach out your hand. If your cup be empty, if your cup is full, I want to interview you. Hello, Greg Weber, Pam LaRusso, winners of the putting contest. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pam had to win in sudden death. I just took it to him with a nine, though. <laughs> hey, let me get a minute with you, uh, Greg. Yes, what, what, what was, what were you thinking when you were making that? Well, part? the key, the key, the key on the whole round was the uh, the two that I made on number four. Nice. Made a very nice second putt Good. in the hole. Good. Yeah. And Pam, how do you feel being in a playoff? Stressed. Okay. <laughs> but fun. <Good>. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Good work. Hey, Tommy Dubla, this is Greg Weber We're at your service. I'm trying to get a drink. Putting uh, champion, LACC Country Club for the Coles of Honor Tournament. A great event for the LACC and the uh, veterans. I want to thank all the veterans and Bruce and Kathy and Doug and Deb and everybody that put this thing on. Great job. Thank you for putting this on. The, the greens come first, the pro shop, everything. The course is in phenomenal shape. Thank you very much. Applause to them. The for putting the food on. Great. So far, so good. The South is great. So far, so good. And I'll take this moment. It's, it's an honor and privilege to announce Paul McGuigg, Gunnery Sergeant, retired. We obviously saw a little bit of his story, but he joined the Marines in 1997 as an amphibious, part of the amphibious crew. Then in 2005 in Iraq, where he was in a Humvee on a mission and an improvised uh, explosive device and was injured and was received a Purple Heart. Not only that, like there's so many more. I can go on and on about his medals and declarations, but I'm going to say two right now, real quick. One is Iraqi Campaign Five Stars. 
Wow. The other one is Combat Action Ribbon Gold Star. That is amazing. I'm going to give a round of applause.
What they're doing is opening the hearts and your boss and the tech will support you. You are investing in the future of that. Um, we're now going to be there one day, and these trades that folds um, are going, they are driven, they have good foundations, they come from great families. Um, there's trades with folds who have been homeless, <coughs> and now they're school, going to school at Harvard to become doctors. Um, if you met more of these kids, you would um, just be amazed by the things that they do and the things that they want to do in life. So I have to thank you for the hospitality, having you here today, um, everything that you do for polls, everything that you do here, support the country, um, and uh, God bless you and God bless you, my friend. Thank you. Very much. for the men. My good buddy, Greg Weber. Greg. Wow, what's up with the... We had Rachel, we had Karina, and Pam LaRusso. It was a sudden death playoff, and in the end, Pam won. Because he's on the course practicing our training. Jim Kennedy. The winners of the old tournament. They get these beautiful trophies. It's a Brent Ellington. Connor Altberg, Dennis Manley, and Kenny Walker. Ah! Let's get a picture. Let's give him a round. Let's give him a round of applause. Tonight's thank you for your service. I definitely want to again thank you, Paul, for your service. We have one local resident here who was attending college down at Chico State when in 1968 he got his draft notice. Unfortunately, uh, he had already uh, done some preliminary work, and so tonight we, we want to honor Captain Harry T.
So, of course, Harry is known as Mac to all of us. And <laughs> when Mac got his uh, draft draft notice in March of March of '68, he managed to uh, arrange to stay in to get to uh, to graduate. Then was uh, trying to he was going into navy aviation. Uh, a little bit on that. To, but he uh, became active, went uh, in December 68, went to officer training school, promoted, graduated, and was give, given his promotion in, uh, I think, about June, July of, uh, of 69. Of course, he ended up flying helicopters, which we all know are not really natural flying machines. <laughs> but he managed to keep them afloat. But after going through all of his other special survival trainings, things that they have to go through, Mac ended up in Vietnam in uh, early 1970 joining the HAL, otherwise known as Helicopter Attack Light uh, Squadron 3, otherwise called the Sea Wolves in Vietnam. Those that probably have never heard of them, the uh, Sea Wolves flew the helicopter attack helicopters that gave support to all of the ground troops, the river boats, uh, troop movements, rescues, whatever was needed. In uh, the five years that the Sea Wolves were active, they flew over 120,000 mission sorties, lost several aircraft. Over 200 of, of their members wounded, 44 killed in those five years. Mac, in one year there in Vietnam, flew over 600 missions with himself. <laughs> After his tour in Vietnam, he got an assignment in San Diego. There he met and married Ruthie. Fucking dead! Yeah. <laughs> October 1972. <laughs> following, following that tour, <laughs> that, was, that was one of his best tours. <laughs> The back, back was assigned as a flight aviation advisor to the Shah of Iran's aviation arm, 1973, I think. Served time in Iran when there was quite a bit of turmoil going on in the Middle East. Ruthie actually joined him in Iran. She got. She, <laughs> the Havan ways. <laughs> we go deep. <laughs> and Ruthie uh, went to Iran but getting a job teaching at the Iranian Naval uh, Academy, right? So they served some time in Iran returned back to the States, finally. Then he had some very rough tours. Served at Pensacola, Florida. <laughs> then went to San Diego. <laughs> went to Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> but he did also had some cruising tours to uh, El Salvador, Panama, and then a pleasure, 
Look, please, please. Send them up to the Mediterranean. <laughs> Eventually, uh, about 1990, uh, Mac was had an uh, appointment to the Naval War College in Newport, Rhode Island. He was there for about a year and a half as a student. Apparently did fairly well because at the end of that, they named him the director at the War College. Served so four years uh, there from 90, or about three years. 91 to 94. So in July 94, his next assignment was to be at the Pentagon. And Mac finally said, enough is enough. <laughs> That's one too many. He took retirement after 26 years. Thank <laughs> you all.